Hi guys, this is Maverick Kwan, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to discuss the suggested solution for 2019 A-Levels H2 Chemistry, Paper 1, Question 26. Alright, Question 26, use of the data booklet is relevant to this question. Assume that the electronic configurations of the second row of the transition elements and the ions are similar to those of the first row of transition elements and their ions. So the first row of transition elements and their ions is in syllabus. So what we are doing is we are applying what we have learned for the first row of transition element and then we apply this to the second row of transition elements in this question. So you are given molybdenum for fluoride is a green ionic solid. So what is the electronic configuration of this ion in this compound? So we are given four options involving the electronic configuration for MO4+. So the question I already mentioned, what we will need to do is we need to make use of what we have learned in the first row of transition element. Then we apply this to molybdenum. So what we will have to do first, of course, is to try to find out where this molybdenum is. So this guy here, if I look inside the periodic table, you notice it is under chromium. So what we will do is we will treat this exactly the same as chromium. So therefore, the electronic configuration for MO4 plus should be the same as chromium 4 plus. So the next thing we have to do is how do I write out the electronic configuration for chromium 4 plus? Now, what we have to do is we have to start off with chromium atom. Of course, we are assuming that you are familiar with writing out the electronic configuration for atoms and ions. So we won't go through in detail. We will just assume that you know how to write out the electronic configuration for chromium. So the electronic configuration for chromium 24 should be 3D5, 4S1. If we just focus on the valence shell, then when I want to form Cr4+, basically what I do is I remove four electrons from chromium. Now, of course, removing electrons, I will remove electrons from the 4S subshell first because 4S subshell, when it is filled, it will be further away from the nucleus or it will be less stable. So therefore, it is easier for me to remove the electrons from 4S. Then the remaining three electrons, I will remove from the 3D subshell. So chromium 4 plus electronic configuration, if again, I focus on the valence shell, should be blah, 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 3D2, 4S, 0. So what we will expect for MO4 plus should be essentially the same, right? But since it is further down the row, so chromium, this is the first row, so this will be a 3D2, 4S, 0, MO4 plus, since it is in the next row, so therefore the principal quantum number will increase. So instead of 3D2, this will become 4D2, instead of 4S, 0, this becomes 5S, 0. So we will expect the electronic configuration for this MO4 plus to be something, 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 4D2, 5S, 0. So we can look back at the options. And of course, we should be able to figure out that the answer to this question will be option B. All right, so that was the discussion involving question 26. Now, question 26 is pretty simple. We just need to be able to write out the electronic configuration for chromium and chromium 4 plus. Then we apply this to the transition element, which is in the second row. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.